log in here. We are back in California, back in business. Oh my goodness gracious. Check it out, for all you hunters out there, next time you go out to try to kill a deer, this is, this one this is what you need. Look at that, holy crap. I have never seen a car like that. That is insane. It's so bright. It looks sort of expensive, kind of a little bit. Sort of, it's a Lotus, dude, that is. Hunter's Orange, right there. Oh no, honey, it's a pack of the wild LA dogs. There's packs of them, they just roam the street. What are they doing? Where's your guys' mummies? You guys are pretty well behaved. Ah. Pack of the wild Los Angeles Rufians. There's five of them. There's five of them. Hi, buddy. Where are you going? Don't run away. Oh, I'm gonna be over here. Where do they belong? I don't know. They're pooping and peeing everywhere, though. We just got done with our podcast, and we found a pack of five wild, small puppies. Hi. Yeah, I don't know. They're just out. I don't know. I didn't even know if they were still They're staying together. There they all go. They remind me of those little pack of small dinosaurs yeah. in Jurassic Park. So shy. Look at my little blue. <laughs> See my little blue thing? <laughs> blue pocket? It's embarrassing. This is like blue growth on my hip. I never wanted you guys to know about it. <laughs> hey. I got blue balls. How far? <laughs> I'm not laughing. How far did you run? Huh? Tell us how far you just ran. I just, like, 17 miles. Seriously? No biggie. I just ran 17 miles. Just a quick, quick jog, you know, around the block. That's a testament to, like, today when I got up, I did not want to go work out. I didn't. We went to the podcast. I still didn't want to. I punched rock hard in the face. I still don't want to go on a run. But that usually does it for him. Usually yeah. if he punches rock hard in the face, he wants to go running. It's a strange thing. You said like, I feel like exercising. I'm going to do push uh, But I went out. I decided He's to like, go. Because thanks to Mommy Tart, she goes, just go. You'll feel better. So I'm like... So I went out and I thought I'll just go like 10 miles and I went 10 miles and I felt good. <laughs> oh, so I kept so going. Funny. I know it's funny to say. I'll just, I'll just go 10 miles. That's it. That's it. I'm just going to go 10 miles. Oh, dude, I'm trying to qualify for the St. George Marathon. I know. Anyways, I went no, 17 Boston. miles. Yeah. Boston. You're going to go. You're going to run, gonna the, run the St. George. I'm trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon in the St. George Marathon. Too. Right. <laughs> I'll keep it straight for you, honey. You don't need to. I'll do it for but you. But it was one of those days where it's just like you kept going. I'm like, I'm so glad I worked out today. It was one of those days. I did not, did not, did not want to go, and I did it, and now I felt good. But we were just talking about that in the Shea Loss shoot when we shot the Shea Loss video. Huge production. <laughs> I was the cameraman. That you just got to do those little things every day, and I was thinking that. I'm like, I don't care when I do it, but I'm going to get a workout in today oh, at some point. Yeah. Hey, are you throwing a fit? He's yelling at kids for stealing his water. Say, my please. Oh my goodness. He's vicious. He's Don't mess with rocks. He's throwing at a 10 year old kid over there, a little 2 year old rock. It's like, <laughs> Oh my hey, goodness. Can you share We've got it in for us. Can you share? Can you let him see it? It's like, no, it's mine. <laughs> okay, we're ready to see it. Are you going to do a trick for us? A what? A trick or a mermaid move? Oh, careful, don't run into it. <laughs> Did you say wussed out? Did you say wussed out? Wussed <laughs> Oh, they said wussed out. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa, that was cool. A water backflip? I like it. I do like a backflip. Pretty good. I'm proud. Okay, what's going on? What's happened to people at home? People at home, we are at a event. We're going to a, a nerd is event. It's this a nerdy, is a nerdy no, it's convention. Good. It's a cool event. We're coming to Dan Doby's uh, screening. Please subscribe. It's what? Not yeah. Subscribe to my channel. But that's <laughs> the name of his movie. It, yeah. It's a documentary about a day in the life of a YouTuber. Yeah, like like this right now. Like, and it's also known as Shay Tards. We do it every day here. <laughs> but he actually made a real movie. It's a oh, documentary. Google event. Google event. Where did just Google event? That. Yeah, just take it. Let's go. Let's go. So me and Brett are on a date. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, my now you're on. already getting us kicked out of here. Yeah, Sorry. No, 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 no filming oh, really? at the YouTube event? No filming. No filming at YouTube event. Sorry. Okay, you guys, we just watched the movie. It was awesome and hilarious. And it almost made me tear up a few times. You just, know what? It makes me want to yeah. vlog. Like, it makes me want to make more YouTube videos. Like, get back into the dream. Like, live the dream. Like, oh, we're, we're both in it. Okay, the battle's starting right now. It's Dan Dobie, C-Nan, or something. Dan and I had supposed to be 
looking at VidCon this year, and he goes, oh, I have this movie. And I'm like, OK, awesome. I want to see it. He's like, I'm telling you stories of you. All right, it's been another beautiful day at the Shadehards residence. It's time to say good night to you, my little baby. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, so cute. Uh oh, did you lose your car? Where'd it go? Oh man, we gotta search through that stuff. No. No? Are you gonna get it for me? Okay, get down there and get it. Look at you, your little bum. Good job. Did you get it? <laughs> He's getting to the age I can ask him to get stuff for me. You can start getting stuff for me because you understand. What'd you find? Let's see it, Rocktard. That's not what you're looking for. That's not what you're looking for. Hey. Hi. Good night, dude. Good night. Did you have a good day today? You have got quite the collection over here. It may be time to organize, <laughs> but you got a great tent over here. Yeah. I like it. All right, good night. Thank you. Did you find it? Dude, we're not looking for shoes. It's time to go to bed. All right, I'll be back. Let's go say goodnight to the girls. Ladies. Ladies, is it time for yeah. you to go to sleep now? That's not your bed. Get in bed. All right, good night, Princess Tard. Hey, nice today. calendar. Hey, oh, hey, look at these. These are my calendars. This is her sticker collection. No, it, they're my calendars. And that's your calendars. But and what's the rest of this stuff? Oh my goodness, there's more. <laughs> you and know what? I totally right remember here. doing that to my so right here. my bunk bed as a kid. I remember doing that. I think that my parents preferred the stickers over the drawing on the bed because I kind of did that too. But it was, it's okay with the stickers because you can always take the stickers off. But don't yeah, draw on your bed, kids. Guess Just what? do stickers. I take the stickers off and put them on my one, two, three, four. On your calendar? Yeah, I have four calendars. Awesome. You are a calendar girl, aren't you? Mommy! Yay. You like calendars. You like to be able to mark off the days of the calendars? I think that she's going to be a very, very organized, organizational person. She likes to put her toys away in specific places, and she likes to check things off on lists. Like secretarial type of work and stuff, so I think you're going to be very good at organization. Hey. Which is a very good quality to have, my yeah. love. I have to feed my baby, but I lost her baba. Oh, no. So we'll have to just find something else, huh? Yeah. What? Baby Tard? You are... Oh, my goodness, she fell! She fell off her bed, whatever, baby Tard. Sometimes when I sleep, I fall off my bed. You do? And then do you just get back on? No, I just come back up and... Because you never tell me. My kids are crazy. Hey. Look. Did you guys see this? That's pretty cool. Barack Obama and William Jefferson Clinton hugging on stage. That's pretty neat, honestly. That's history right there. I always love seeing, because just you got to have respect for the POTUS, the President of the United States. It's always cool to me when I see presidents get together you know what I mean I want to I want the both George Bushes to be there and like Jimmy Carter I want all the presidents to have like a presidential wrestling match <laughs> who could win who who's like in a fist fight out of all the presidents that's still alive who do you think would win I think Bill maybe Bill Clinton he's in pretty good shape because he's a runner Maybe George Bush Jr., George W. Bush. He's like a farm guy. Anyways, I was just watching the DNC. Got home from the movie premiere, and uh, it was crazy, man. I was, we went, it was held at um, Google's and YouTube's new offices here in Venice Beach, which is like 200,000 square feet of offices. It's insane to see how much... YouTube is growing, and I got a little tour. I got to walk around. I couldn't film in there. <laughs> I think that security guard didn't really know what he was talking about because I did film in there a little bit. But it was so cool seeing that documentary. Dan Doby made a documentary. It's called Please Subscribe. It's a documentary about YouTubers. Live Lava Live. Dan Brown, Will of DC, uh, My Drunk Kitchen, Hannah Hart was in it. Mystery Guitar Man, C Nanners. 
and um, hopefully I'm not missing anybody. Who am I? Anyways, it's good, really good. I was in it a little bit. Oh, 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 um, Grace from Daily Grace, she was in it, duh, that was the part I was in it. But I like seeing movies like that or going to events like that because it reminds me how far this whole thing has come. You know what I mean? Just to see the progression of the whole thing. And it makes me start to think about what's the next step and what am I going to do? You know, how long am I going to do these daily videos? I was talking to Brett on the ride over back after the thing was over and I was like, I don't know, I'm starting to feel a little like I want to move on to something new. Like what can be the next thing, you know? We talked about maybe you know, getting serious about doing a documentary about this whole story. You know, we filmed our lives every day for almost four years. I told Brett, maybe like after the four years, I'll announce that I'm only going to do one more year of vlogs and I'll do a solid five years of vlogging. I don't know, I just I want to be able to be open with you guys and have you not freak out about me stopping the vlogs. But I, I feel like I want to move on to something new, whether it be write a book, or make a documentary or something. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like, where's this all going? You know what I mean? It's such a dream come true though. And, you know, being there listening to the panel tonight about, you know, how all of those YouTubers never expected this to turn into something. And now that it has, it's, you know, like I like to say, it's a dream come true of a dream that I never even knew I had. And, you always got to be grateful. Wheezy Waiter. Dang it. Wheezy Waiter was in it. Hilarious. It's a funny, funny. I was cracking up. I'm biased though because I'm like friends with all these people. Kevin from District Lines was in it. It was just a lot of, you know, people that I know. Um, it's really good. I'm not sure when or where you can see this documentary. Uh, but uh, it was really good. It was just like a select screening for like YouTube employees and some YouTubers. Uh, you'll see it. You'll hear more about it. Go follow, please subscribe on Twitter, and Dan Doby. He made the movie. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And whatever this is to you, this is our life to us. If you just watch the Shaytards once a week, or if you've watched every day for the last three and a half years, you know, whatever this means to you, it's different, I think, for all of you guys. But I want you to know, for us, this is our life. This is our whole life. This is all we think about all the time. I mean, raising our children, I mean, that's definitely a big part of it. But this isn't our whole life. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> this is a huge part of our life. I mean, this is what I do for a career. And for a man, I mean, just speaking in general, like for a man who provides for his family, your career is a giant part of your life. I mean, first and foremost, I'm a father. That's the most important thing to me, is raising those children and making sure they make it in this big bad world. You know, that's my first priority. But being a YouTuber and making these videos is probably third after being a husband to my wife. No, that's see, Husband and lover to my wife, number one thing. Being a good dad, number two. YouTuber, number three? You guys are third. <laughs> that's probably a good order to be in. Uh, anyways, I don't know. I'm laying on the couch. I just had some dinner. Mom made some mommy tar- Oh, I've been talking for five minutes? I talk a lot, huh? Anyways, tired, watching the DNC, trying to figure out who we should elect to run this country. I just want us to get out of debt. You know what I'm saying? I just want like, this country to get out of debt. So, who's gonna do it? I don't know. But you should- you should get informed. You should vote. I'm not saying who you should vote for. This President Clinton's speech was really, really good. And uh, I like Barack Obama. I think he's a great guy. I just don't know if, you know, if he's the man to do it. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not 100% decided. You guys are probably like, you're going to vote for Mitt Romney because you're a Mormon. That's not true. I don't care if he's Mormon. I really just want, you know, this country to do good. So then if our country does good, then my family does good. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of connected. We're all in this together, which is kind of the theme what they are talking about tonight. Anyways, long vlog is long. That's what you guys wanted, right? We just want more of the kids, Shay. 
Maybe I'll just quit vlogging and I'll let the kids start opening their own YouTube channels. Then I don't have to do it anymore. I'll just let the kids vlog. What do you say to that? You like that idea? All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being along on this journey. Like I said, whatever this means to you, it means a lot to us. And we sincerely appreciate you being a part of our life. And uh, I hope it adds to your life. I hope it brings you smiles and you happiness as well. It's like a circle of happiness. Anyways, guess what? We'll see you tomorrow. One, two, three. Almost. Do it at the same time he does it. One, two, three. That was pretty good. One, two, three. Um, I mean, maybe him, uh, when he was, what he was doing earlier was pretty funny when he was, when he was kind of up on the table. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. One, two, three. Where Do you want me to just... Yeah, do first and do one. I'm on the table right now. One, two, three. Just let him go. Just let him go.